Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to use my tree rig for Cinema 4D. Let's start by opening the file. In this file that you will receive, you will find most of the comments on this null under user data. And uh, I suggest to click here to bring uh, a new window for the user data so you can conveniently place it on your monitor and have it always in front of you. So the most important command of this rig is under main and it's growth animation. The entire animation is driven just by the keyframe of this value. And that's it, there is nothing else uh, which is keyframed. Just two keyframe and you can do everything. Uh, all the other command you can uh, animate as well. Everything is keyframable, but you don't have to. The second command controls the spread of your branches during the animation. So if, for example, we go into the middle of the animation, we can see that just by dragging dragging this handle the tree is less open and if we do this the tree is gonna be more open so this is a nice way to control how your animation is gonna behave without adding any additional keyframe the wind tab is pretty simple you can uh, decide how much wind you have on your tree and how much turbulence the only important thing is in this tab is that the wind affecting the wood part and the wind affecting the twigs are two different noises. This value affects just the trunk and this value will affect just the twigs. So keep that in mind. In the trunk tab you can find the controls for your trunk. The first value expresses the height of the trunk in centimeters, so in this case we have 1200 centimeters. And this value you don't need to animate, this, this is gonna be the height and at the end of the animation. So if you want 2000 centimeters, you just type 2000 and it's gonna grow to that height. With the remaining values, you can control the noises I've used to deform the trunk. But if uh, you are not satisfied uh, with the result uh, with uh, my noises, you can go into the hierarchy of the rig, so splines, geowood, trunk, connect trunk, helix trunk, and here you can find the spline that is the main trunk. And you can just shut down all the noises and then you can use your own noises, effectors, deformers under bandwidth. So for example, if you want to use an FFT, you can put it in here. And then you can use this deformer to give shape to your trunk, just as you like. One thing that you may have noticed is that there is no control for the thickness of the trunk. This is because the thickness depends on your geometry. Let's see where is our geometry for the trunk. It's in this node called geometry here and we can find uh, this trunk uh, null and this is where you're gonna put your geometry. If we scale uh, this null, then we can see that the trunk is gonna be thicker. We need to refresh in order for the height to, to be displayed correctly. And now we have a thicker trunk. Okay, let's move on to the branches tab. And here you can find all the control for all your branches. By default, you have 11 branches. 
and uh, mostly you have to place them uh, by hand where you want and uh, I did it this way because I wanted to have uh, absolute control over the shape of my tree I wanted to be able to really go in there and decide precisely how it looks so let's see what you can do as you can see you have also text to help you identify what branch is where and by the way you can turn off that text here so let's say we are not satisfied with branch one we want to change its position it's this one now branch nine bothers me the most i will say so let's go to branch nine we want branch nine to be a little bit longer and then to bend a little bit more also it's too close to branch six so we can turn it not the banking the heading we can turn it more yeah a little bit lower now i like it better so the comments are pretty straightforward they are self-explanatory these comments uh, you have to take into account that they, they are values over time so like the trunk this 410 centimeter length is gonna grow over time you don't need to animate the growth it's gonna happen by default it's gonna start from zero at and the end of your keyframes it's gonna be 410 centimeters and the same thing applies for radius and banking not for adding though let's tweak a little bit more also this and now let's display our tree let's switch on the tweaks you can work with the tweaks uh, activated if you prefer if you want to have like the big picture of your tree while you work on your branches okay so let's go to the tweaks tab you can control how big they are the scaling scaling means that the twigs on the top part of the branch they're gonna be smaller and the twigs at the bottom part of the branch they're gonna be bigger rotation and then how many branch you want And uh, with the twigs you can uh, activate the effector twigs delay effector to have more of a bouncy look at the end of your animation it's gonna be more noticeable with a faster animation so let's take our keyframes and let's grow the tree in 30 frames and let's see what we got okay now we can really see the twigs bouncing because of the delay effector now let's see how we can change the look of our tree so as said before the geometry is gonna be put in these five nulls let's start from the trunk okay you will be provided with this trunk and also you will be given this trunk generator if you want to change this is a pretty straightforward rig to generate uh, a trunk geometry it's not the most realistic but if you don't need anything crazy accurate you can start with this one an important thing to consider with trunk geometry is that it should be pretty straight you don't want to start with a geometry that is too twisted so 
Let's take uh, this trunk, for example, from Megascan Bridge and let's see what happens if we use this trunk that is not super straight. First of all, you want to zero out your geometry. Then we can turn down geometry here. And uh, okay, the geometry pops into place. And now we can see what happens when the geometry is not straight. The branches, they're not gonna be they're gonna be not coming from the geometry itself so you want to have a really straight piece of geometry when you choose your trunk this is not the end of the world you can spend some time in modeling to straight this up and still use it but it must be very straight the other piece of geometry you want to feed the rig are the twigs. So let's take a look at the twigs. Your twigs, you will have to put them into these nulls. Remember that the name here is to help you prepare your geometry. So Z plus means that uh, your geometry should be oriented into the Z direction. As you can see, all the twigs, they are correctly oriented and uh, I put them inside the, their nulls. So if you want to change these twigs and have the tree with a different look, you can just take this out, oh, sorry, take this out and even delete them. And then uh, right now I've prepared other twigs from another model and we can put these twigs inside the null. Okay, let's see our tree, how it looks now. Oh, we need the trunk. Okay, so as you can see, we swap the twigs and our tree has a totally different look. In other words, you can go online and there are very good resources to find the free high quality trees for example on Vitz people you can find this awesome uh, birch i think it's a birch or even cg axis is another one or even uh, 3d warehouse you can find some good stuff and then uh, you want to download the model port them into cinema 4d and uh, just isolate your twigs uh, and put into the rig as I showed you. In conclusion, this is a tool uh, for animation. It's not meant to generate new trees. So you should always find your geometry from other resources. I'm sure you can find awesome websites. And uh, check out my time lapses that I will upload in my channels, where I show my workflow for getting the tweaks and uh, importing them uh, into my tree rig in a fast way.